Hey guys, you are watching Bob's Decline. Not really a nice day out today, not the best for making a video, but I got a massive tree that fell down on the lines. I'm waiting for a crew to come out here and give me a hand. In the meantime, I figured I'd make a video about telescopic hot sticks. Generally, there's two types of telescopic sticks. There's the type that comes apart, and there's the ones that don't come apart, which are typically a round shape. First thing we're going to cover are a few of the uh, safety rules when using a telescopic extendable hot stick. Your stick's got to be tested. Expires January 2021. This is the part of the stick that is most important. The only portion of your stick that is tested is this top section. Now that's tested at 100,000 volts for, per foot. So you always have to extend the first section of your stick when working on live equipment. Second thing we're gonna look at. You have your pinch points. Don't stick tip your thumb in there. Wear your gloves. Our particular company policy is to wear your 20 kV rubber gloves. You can't go wrong. Now the next thing we're gonna cover is a little bit of maintenance on the stick. It's got a rubber nub on the bottom, kind of a stand. That's so you can stand on your stick on the ground without damaging the fiberglass. You remove this section of the stick, there's no rubber foot on the bottom. Something I'll try and do, I set it on my boot, it's not getting dirty. What you're gonna need to get yourself, silicone treated wiping cloth for hot sticks. Complies with OSHA rules and regulations. You wanna take your stick apart, if it comes apart. You wanna give the whole stick a good wipe with your silicone cloth. Not only will it preserve the fiberglass, it'll help the stick slide into place a lot easier. It helps protect the stick from debris. At least once a week, I will take my stick completely apart and wipe down each and every section. Another good practice, as you're extending it up and it's locking in place, you want to make sure that each button is fully locked and in place. You see how that button didn't fully pop out? These particular sticks are horrible for catching the side here. If that button's not clicked, and you use this stick, close the cutout, the stick will actually collapse without fully closing the cutout door, resulting in probably a pretty good size arc from the cutout. Next thing I'm gonna show you is actually extending the stick. These guys can be your best friends. If you're using the stick to close a cutout, it has in a little notch the hammer slips into, you got weight on the end of the stick. You wanna lift that straight up. I lean that stick to the side. See the bow in it already? So as I'm trying to extend it now, it's getting pretty hard to extend. You're gonna have to fight with it. What's easier to do in most cases when extending the stick is to look up, keep your eye on what's on top of the stick in case it falls so it doesn't hit you in the head. Hard hat, always. So I got a cutout door on there. I'm gonna extend this stick and I'm going straight up, keeping an eye on that cutout. My stick is up high enough now that if I don't keep this right straight, if I bend even a little bit, it becomes very difficult to extend the stick at this point. Your next step is going to be to set that door inside the cutout. So as you can see, with the stick being straight up in the air, she's pretty wobbly. There is a tiny bit of play in each and every section of the stick. You can see how easily the top of that sways back and forth. So when it actually comes time to drop that cutout door, now is when I lean it away from me, I put a slight bend in the stick. That prevents the stick from wobbling back and forth. I'm gonna pull my truck ahead a little bit and I'll show you what I mean. All right guys, we found ourselves a transformer here. The cutout door for this particular transformer, you can see this one here doesn't have that notch I was talking about in the other cutout door. If you hang that in the front of your hammerhead, the only thing from keeping that slipping off is the actual lip on your head. Now, they still hang on there pretty good. Not nearly as good as this fellow though. Lots of the guys hang their cutouts through the side like that. Personally, I prefer like this. That way the cutout hangs straight regardless of which way you have your stick. All right, we got our transformer up here. As you can see, it's not the best conditions for hanging a door with a stick. There's lots of trees in the way. I'm gonna stand about six feet back from this transformer. I'm gonna be lifting that cutout door with a stick 
right straight up in the air. Once I have it to the height that's close to the transformer, that's when I'm gonna lean it in, just like a fishing rod, drop it down into that cutout and give her a slam shot. All right, let's rock and roll. Rubber gloves. Cut out door. Below that ring, I'll show you that a little closer in a second. I'm going to lift up slightly. Once the door is in this position, above horizontal, I give her a close. Boom, transformer's closed. When closing this cutout door, if you were to put the stick in the ring, you close the door up into place. When I pull my stick away, it's easy enough to catch that ring and pull it back open. If you're doing that on a transformer with lots of load, ball of fire, not cool. You hook your stick in the bottom piece right here, give it a little wiggle, slammer shot, away you go, back home, back to bed, everybody's happy. Before we're done for today, I do got to give one more shout out to the Austrian lineman. He's on Instagram, he's on YouTube, he's on Facebook, all kinds of on the job content. Not Australian lineman, Austrian, check it out, real cool stuff. We'll see you next time.